Hey motorheads, today we're going to be putting a catback system on a 370Z and uh, I know a lot of you guys are interested in the aftermarket exhaust. This one's by DNA Motoring which can help performance and sometimes even fuel economy. So we hope you enjoy the video. Just going from the converters back, um, we've got our pipe down here is the first section that we'll be putting on. It's backwards right now, so we're flipping that around, bolting that on from here back. We don't want to put them together ahead of time because we've got this cross section here, uh, the bracing that goes underneath of it. So we'll put this first section in, bolt the next section in, and then work on the tailpipes and mufflers. We're going to set some supports up on the Y pipe. Especially if you're working alone, you're going to want to have uh, supports set up in there. We're going to take these two nuts off here in the back of the Y pipe, right where they join the resonators. And then we're going to move forward, and right here where the Y pipe joins the cats, we're going to take these two nuts off and those two over there. Those four in the front, super important that you spray those ahead of time. You don't want to break those studs off because we'll be reusing those studs on the new exhaust system. The rest of the system is going to come with new bolts, new studs, everything in it, but those you do not want to lose the threads on. So we're going to pull them off. We're using a 14 millimeter and we've got our Milwaukee 3 8 drive fuel. Uh, awesome little uh, 3 8 drive impact. Put them up here. I've also got a swivel extension on there just to allow me to get in there to them. Okay, so now we're going to move to the back. Uh, we're going to take this back section out um, prior to taking the Y pipe out. And to get the back section out, what I'm seeing the easiest way to do that, you want to look in here. All of these rubber exhaust mounts are held on by brackets. Uh, there's a 12 millimeter nut on that one. There's one on the other side as well. And a lot of exhaust systems you have to actually, it's a good idea to spray these with WD-40 so that you can actually squeeze that rubber mount off of that uh, mount location there. But on this one it's kind of nice. You can just unbolt all the mounts and then drop the exhaust down and if we have to transfer some of those mounts to the new exhaust we can do that here in a minute but at least it'll be on the floor and we're not wrestling with it uh, while it's on the car. The other ones are here on the back. Um, if you look up in here there are three in a triangle shape here on both sides. We're going to take the Y pipe section out now. Um, I did start a couple of nuts earlier. I know we talked about taking these four nuts off as well as the two on the back of the Y pipe. I did start them back on there by hand. I'll pull those back off just to kind of hold that Y pipe from pulling off of the converters whenever we pulled the tail section off the exhaust. Got those off and it should pull loose pretty easily. I don't think I'll need any assistance with that board out of the way. Okay, slid right off. Okay, the DNA motoring kit that we uh, got for the catback uh, did come with all new exhaust gaskets right off the cats. It's also got the gasket after the white pipe uh, and all the hardware. So it's all in the bag here. So we'll make sure you pull the old ones off. You want to get rid of the old uh, copper style gaskets. You don't want to stack those with the new ones. So pull them off. Make sure your surface is really good and clean. 
and then we'll install the new uh, DNA gaskets. We're getting ready to put in the, the Y pipe section on the new exhaust and you can see these are slightly angled. They're not directly across uh, at three and nine. They're kind of uh, angled a little bit both ways. So um, if you look at your new system, they're also angled that way so you know which way this thing goes in. So we'll feed it over the brace. And you can put one side on first. Since it has the flex mesh in it, you can get one side started on if you're by yourself, and then you can get the other side. So uh, you may have noticed on the gaskets, I did spray a little bit of a copper coat spray on those. Uh, I'm sure you don't have to. I just like to uh, kind of overkill some stuff. So I did spray uh, both sides of the gaskets with a copper um, exhaust gasket and head gasket sealant. So. I'm going to put a little bit of anti-seize on these studs on all four. That'll keep those from freezing up in the future in case we have to take any of the exhaust system back off. Okay, we talked earlier about taking these rubber mounts off and transferring them over to the new pipe. And I put a little WD-40 on there to help that pop off of there. If not, they can be a little bit stub stubborn to get off. But with the WD-40, it makes it a lot easier. That copper coat gasket compound that I talked about earlier. And I'm gonna go ahead and spray this gasket too, right where it joins in the rear. And um, then we're gonna put that section on in the back. Okay, before we put these bolts in, we made sure that we put the washer on the bolt head side. They furnish that with it because the nut actually has a locking washer already made on it. So we'll put those in. Okay, the nuts on the back side are 14 millimeter, and then the front side are actually 16 millimeter. turned down, uh, the Milwaukee Fuel allows you to select either one, two, or three, uh, and we turned it down to two, and we'll finish torquing those here in just a little bit. We have the rubber mounts placed on the new exhaust, and we can flip those around, and they'll just fit right in place, and you put the original nuts on, we'll snug those down. Okay, we mocked up the tailpipes uh, and mufflers on the back, and as you can see, they're they're not centered with the cutouts on the on the rear bumper. So we're going to have to do a little bit of tweaking on the pipes, and we're going to mark them with a black marker here, and flex them as needed, and then we'll fit them back up again. We want this thing to look as nice as it's going to sound. <laughs> 